Well, the diamond system I'm going to show you now is probably the most popular of all the systems you could ever learn. For years ago, it used to be what they called a standard five or corner system shot. Uh, it was very complicated. Uh, I discovered a few years later that this system I'm going to show now is actually much easier to learn. It's used more often, and it's going to help you win a lot of games. So let's get right into this. This is a standard two cushion kick shot system using numbers. Now, it's a very simple thing to calculate, it's easy to do. You've got an object ball sitting down here in the corner pocket, and we're blocked here by a couple balls along the long rail, and the cue ball's up toward that end of the table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to start counting from the object ball until I get close to the cue ball, and it, it starts out this way. The object ball always has a value of zero, no matter where it's at along a rail. If it's within an inch of the rail, it always has a value of zero. So we'll start with zero right there, and we'll count up getting close to the cue ball. So from zero to this first diamond, which is one, the end of one diamond segment, that would be one. This would be the end of the second diamond system, or two diamond segment. This would be three, four, five. Now you can actually stop here at five. We're actually looking for a diamond that's close to the cue ball. You could go to six, but five or six is acceptable. We'll stop at five, and I'll show you why this will work. So once again, we start with zero, one, two, three, four, five. If this just say this 10 ball was over here along the short rail at this point, it would still be zero, and it would be one, two, going around the corner, three, four, five, six, seven. And if this were over here at this diamond, it would be zero, one, two, three. So again, this is always zero, the starting point of your calculation on this long rail. So from zero up to five, and that number five tells you what to look for on the short rail. Now you notice on the short rail, I have uh, nine different balls, and the way the counting system works, it goes in half diamond counting segments. The corner pocket is always one. Now, if you can't remember that's one, just ask yourself a question if you're in a game, how many pockets do you see over there? And if you see one, hopefully everybody's going to see one there, unless it's a little bit too late at night, that's one, then the value of that pocket is one. The half diamond is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, seven, eight, nine. So. We have nine diamonds over there along that rail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And generically, the length of the table, we have nine diamonds, which we explained in our, in our terminology segment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've actually made this into a square. And the whole concept here is to use what's called a Euclidean principle of mathematics or a square principle. So I basically convert the table into a square. So we come up to five. We go over to five, and when we, when we connect five with five, you'll notice the cue ball's right on that line. That's the track line that we talked about in our terminology. And then, of course, if you look at the track line, it creates this triangle, which we also talked about earlier, and that also creates the acute angle, which is your kick angle into the rail. So the five-five track line creates the line that you must shoot down. Now, once I do that calculation of five-five, I don't basically look at the cushion or, or that diamond over there anymore. What I do is I simply shoot down a little six to eight inch line on that side of the cue ball. So that's your job. Shoot down the line and the byproduct should end up down to this ball. Let's go ahead and shoot it. We're going to hit the cue ball with that one tip by definition of running English, smooth stroke just like this. Hit the ball, just like the ball comes down it goes here to the corner pocket just like that. You notice how easy that works. Now, we're going to move that ball just a little bit to this position. We're going to put the cue ball here in a different position. We're going to count again. Remember, I mentioned this ball is always zero. This is one, two, three. And of course, the diamond at the side pocket is in the center of the pocket in line with the diamonds. So zero, one, two, three. We want to look for a three over here. So the corner is one. The half diamond is two. This is three. And we connect three to three. Now, in this particular case, the cue ball is not on three to three. So we go into what we call the parallel shift mode, which we explained before. We simply move over parallel to the cue ball, and that gives you the same angle into the rail. So 3-3 three, three is your calculated angle. Moving over parallel gives you the angle or the line you shoot down. So we're going to shoot right down that line. We're going to increase our English just a little bit on this shot with a nice smooth stroke, just like this. Hit the ball. The ball comes down like this, goes over, comes down like that, and hits it that way, and gets real close to the corner pocket. And actually, it falls in. So, a little miracle took place here. The ball went in. My opponent wants to know how I did that. Well, they learned a diamond system just like you're learning now. So, it's kind of a neat way that works. And, of course, there's other variations on the table. You could have a ball along this rail. You could have the cue ball up here. And you could count from this side, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
go over to five and shoot, and you get the same effect and hit the ball. So the whole concept is to use the two cushion kick system using numbers, easy to calculate, two numbers the same, long rail, short rail, connecting, five, five, two, two, four, four, whatever. We'll do a little variance here later in another segment. But the whole point is you're going to be able to make contact on the balls at least almost every time. And in most cases, you're going to make it, which is going to make your game go to an entirely different level. So I hope you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.